Hello everybody, I am Lance Koike. I am a personal trainer in Mountain View, California, and welcome to my home. I am training my favorite client, Ivy, here. Hello, Ivy. And today I wanna to show you the goblet squat. So, I don't have any weights here, but Ivy's gonna help me out, okay? Ivy's gonna serve as my resistance today. The goblet squat is essentially holding a weight in front of your body and squatting down, okay? Same thing from the side, boom. <laughs> Smells good. Hardy Ivy, huh? Thanks, girl. I'm gonna put Ivy back down and we're gonna discuss this. So what does Ivy do to me? What does the goblet squat do for me? The goblet squat changes how I control my center of mass. So if I put weight in front of my body, if I don't shift my body weight or my body position, I will just fall over, okay? It's just how physics works. So what I have to do is I have to, once I grab that weight, I need to shift back, okay? It's pretty subtle. If maybe I'm here for a body weight squat, if I reach my arms forward, that puts more of my weight forward or puts more of my, uh, yeah, I guess weight forward, but I have to shift my body backward. I hope that distinction makes sense. The position versus the weight. Um, we're always dealing with forces and gravity is, as uh, Chris Hatfield calls it, the ultimate oppressor. <laughs> he is a uh, NASA astronaut who's been in space and I feel like he has a pretty good perspective on the problem. <laughs> You're so, with the goblet squat, we are shifting the body weight back. Now, why would I, or the body position back? Why would I want to do that? Well, the most frequent issues that people have in squatting is that they fall forward and they collapse their knees in, right? They fall forward and they collapse their knees in. Sometimes they'll even stick their back out like this, extending their spine, putting a little extra compression there. To help deal with all that, I want to throw you into the mistake. If I'm falling forward and then I grab a weight that pushes me forward even more, then I need to find another strategy. And most often that strategy is I shift back and my heels stay in contact with the ground and I push through my, my big posterior chain of muscles here, my glutes and my hamstrings. And that's why squats become such a great exercise for not only lower body health and muscles, but the glutes in particular, right? Now, the goblet squat is one of my favorites to start you with because of this, this fact that it teaches you very well. Some people don't adapt very well and they'll just fall forward and they'll just turn their back on more to help deal with them. For these people, Maybe a better regression is let's reach forward or hold a smaller weight and reach forward and use that to shift your weight back at the bottom. Sometimes you can do it while you squat down or if that's not enough to feel it, you just squat down and then reach forward and you'll have to learn how to adapt your, your balance there. Why would I use the goblet squat? Well, this is a variation that you would probably never really get rid of in anybody's training. It's so like, it's, it's just, it's not very injury prone, right? It's easy to do correctly. You can even load it pretty well. Like I can do a set of 25 with a 24 kilogram kettlebell. That's, you know, 50 pounds or something. And I can get a good, you know, cardiovascular muscular endurance workout with that. Um, it's great for teaching, you always use it, and it doesn't require, this is the big one I think, especially if you wanna do at home workouts, it doesn't require a whole lot of uh, equipment, right? I can show you it pretty well in its own uh, environment here with just a, a plant that I might use in my, or I might have in my home. So consider any sort of weight, like you can grab a, a gallon of water, gallon of milk, you can grab a chair, you can grab a plant if the pot is big enough and it's heavy enough. 
Um, but consider using the goblet squat in your training to help teach your proper positions and even get a little bit of a muscular endurance, leg loading training effect.